Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after announcing back in February that Microsoft said they will end support for Publisher in 2026, Microsoft has now announced that they will be ending support for Office 2016 and Office 2019 alongside um, the related productivity service for those products on the 14th of October 2025. And I'll leave that end of support for Publisher in 2026 video in the end screen. Now, basically what this means, um, Microsoft has mentioned in an announcement dated the 15th of April, and if we head over to that announcement, here is a list of all the different um, products and productivity servers that will be affected by this change. Microsoft mentions that all of the above applications, which are these, and servers, including Office 2016, 2019, will reach end of support, as mentioned, on October the 14th, 2025. And just on a side note, um, the 14th of October is also the official date Microsoft has given for the end of support for Windows 10. So coincidence or not, both Office 2016, 2019 and their different uh, productivity servers and Windows 10 are all ending support on the same date. Now they carry on to say that after this end date, that they will no longer provide security fixes, bug fixes or technical support. And obviously it does go without saying, they've mentioned that using products after end of support leaves your organization vulnerable to potential security threats productivity losses and compliance issues and it is not recommended as i've mentioned on the channel that you do use a product after the end of support especially if you are using that product online if you're using a product offline um not much of a problem but if you are using a product online not having support where you get the relevant bug stability and security fixes could lead you into potential problems now, over and above that, um, Microsoft does mention from the announcement that they recommend that organizations who have um, those different apps installed instead sign up for a Microsoft 365 E3 cloud-based subscription. And if you still need to keep your PCs di disconnected from the internet and are not yet ready to switch to Microsoft 365, they are offering the Office Long-Term Servicing Channel LTSC basically solution as a workaround um, if you're not wanting to obviously sign up for Microsoft 365 E3. So there you have it. Keeping you posted. Office 2016, 2019 and also Windows 10 all end in support on the same date, 14 October 2025. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.